Today we will be speaking to you about um, being blacklisted and, and applying for a job. Okay, most of you are are aware that when you're applying for a position, whether it's in the financial services industry or if it's in retail where it involves handling of cash, um, then there are credit checks that are done on candidates that apply through for these positions. What I can advise you is that if you know that you are blacklisted and that you've got a bad credit rating or credit record and you're unemployed, when you're applying for your position, and okay, you've been shortlisted, you might go for about, say, one to three interviews before you are successful for that position. Um, you'll pass the first, then the second interview, etc. Once you are successful for that position, um, you will then be given your contract to complete or to sign, as well as a declaration, where it will request that you um, give consent to the recruiter or to the, the, the organization you're applying with for them to do a background check on you. That will include a credit check, a criminal check, reference checks, um, everything to do with your background so that they can get uh, a better understanding of the client or the candidate that's applying for that position. During this time, I know it's quite difficult, um, especially when you're unemployed, uh, many times when you've been declined a post because of your bad credit record, you always, the first question that comes to mind is, how do I pay off that debt if I cannot find employment because of my bad credit rating? It will never seem to resolve itself. What you could do is, I cannot, this is not a guarantee that you will still get that position, but what will help you to get the position is that you could um, speak to the the, the organizations that you will have your, your the debtors with um, and request um, and make a payment arrangement with them. I know in most cases it does help your application because um, you're acknowledging the debt and you've made the payment arrange arrangement for that debt as well. Um, also, if you're under debt review, um, you need to be forthcoming with this information. So if you are shortlisted for that position, you need to be forthcoming and let the recruiter know or let the organization know that you are blacklisted or you do have a bad credit record that might um, impact your application. Uh, it's better you let them know beforehand instead of going through the whole process and then being declined the position once that information is brought to light. Uh, you can also advise them that you have made the proper arrangements to settle the debt that you have um, and you can also provide them with this information. What you could do is um, get a payment arrangement um, have the, the company forward you through a confirmation that you have agreed to make payment of a set amount each month until the debt settled in full. Uh, and note, kindly note that if you are unemployed and you do have outstanding debt with companies, you are not forced to settle the full amount. Uh, by law, you you can you you pay what you can afford to pay. That's by law. So um, some companies um, accept as little, little as fifty rand. Um, for to set on a monthly basis, on a regular basis, to settle that debt. So as long as your your recruiter knows about your situation and that you have acknowledged the debt and making proper arrangement to settle that debt, that would be an advantage and might not hinder your application um, as if you had um, not mentioned it in the beginning. What I can also advise you is that Many of you are not aware that if you are employed in the financial services, any sector, whether it be banking, um, financial advice, financial planning, etc., account even within the accounting field as well, many of you are not aware that um, your HR does random checks on you throughout here. It's part of the personal development and compliance where they will do a random check on the employees to ensure that they are complying with regulations. Okay. So if you, if you fall into a, situ a financial situation where you are then blacklisted whilst employed by a financial institution, what you could do is your HR will then approach you stating that they've picked up uh, that you are now blacklisted or that you've got a bad credit scoring, etc. What you need to do is present your employer with acknowledgement of debt and with confirmation that you have made arrangements to settle that debt. In some cases, you could lose your job because you have not provided them with this information. So I urge all candidates and all clients that are employed 
in the financial services industry to please monitor your credit scoring and your credit rating. Um, try not to get blacklisted. I know it's uh, in within, it's not something that, that um, some people can avoid. Um, but as I've advised, if it does come up that you have been blacklisted and your employer becomes aware of this um, when they've done their checks, um, then you can also present them with information that you have made arrangements on means and ways to settle the debt and that you have acknowledged that you do have that debt. Um, the reason being most companies do this or most financial companies and retail institutions do this, the reason being is on a regular basis you are handling clients cash or you're handling company cash or finances and you become a risk to the company um, because of your financial situation. Okay, um, What happens in some cases um, you could be um, a risk meaning that you could perhaps steal from the client to try and meet um, meet your financial needs. Um, you could um, also do various um, illegal uh, practices trying to meet your financial needs by using uh, the company that you are working for. Um, corruption occurs mainly with staff within an organization and that is the reason that they are so strict when it comes to these types of conditions because they need to ensure that the, the person they're employing is not going to be a risk to the organization. Guys, I hope this helped you. Uh, please ensure that you try monitoring your credit scoring, your credit rating, your credit risk. Um, Please forward this information through to family, friends, colleagues that may need this assistance or are not aware of these facts um, because it could help someone in the near future when they're applying for positions. So share the information, uh, forward the link through to as many uh, people you might think need this information. And guys, um, subscribe to our channel. We will be updating you with more information with regards to employment and vacancies. Thank you. Bye.